Hey guys, what's going on? My name is David Langlois and I'm pretty excited right now because I'm doing my first video for my brand new channel. And actually right now I'm on the super yacht named Owl and it's a 37 meters. It's a beautiful boat. I'm about to leave this boat because I'm going on my sailboat to work on my new project. So this channel will be about my life. Please remember to subscribe and follow my journey to the good. And the bad time. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's painful. Also, I have my Instagram, David Langlois. You need to check this out. You will love it. It's David Langlois with double S at the end. As you can see, there's a lot of underwater stuff as well with sharks, plenty of different pictures. It's a good way to get to know me if you don't know me already and also to see my daily lifestyle because of all my story I will post every day of what's going on. Um, yeah, you definitely should uh, follow me on Instagram. Today you will be traveling with me. We are going to leave from this boat in Italy and we are going to Isamureles, Mexico and you will meet my baby Boom Sharkalaka. So let's keep moving, let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, let me introduce you the captain from Owl. Hello everyone. <laughs> Thanks David for having me on your brand new channel. Yeah, he's one of the person who inspired me to do this channel actually a lot and inspired me for many other things. He's the owner of Super Yacht Captain and yep. uh, yeah, you definitely have a look on this channel. Uh, he actually have uh, this season has been blowing. How many paddles do you have now? So yeah, so we started the channel uh, in September 2018, so not too long ago. And we've reached over 73,000 subscribers now. And we're averaging about 1 million views every month, which is, which is great. And it's all about um, super yacht content. What it's like to be a captain on a super yacht, and what it's like for the crew, and all the different tasks and duties that we carry out on board. It's really interesting and unique because it's on one of the only YouTube channel about uh, Megoya. If you're curious about it and if you want to know more about it and know more Tristan, which is, is an amazing person, I suggest that you have a look on his channel right here. I will put the link down below. That's great. Thanks, David. Awesome. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Let me tell you about uh, my background. Basically, I was in construction before, so um, many people don't expect that, but yeah, I was working all around Canada in construction, and um, my dream was living from the ocean on a sailboat, that's all. At some point, I was so tired, I decided to just purchase my dream, and I put on paper how much it would cost me, and it was actually costing me 80% less living on a sailboat and out of the ocean. I never been in the ocean before, I never even swam in the ocean before, and I never been on a sailboat in my life before so it was a big gap I just took a 40 hours courses I decided that I can do it and I sold my house sold everything and I left everyone was telling me no David you can't do that you never done that before you're too young to be retired you're too young to do this I left from Montreal to the Bahamas and at New York it, this is where you put the mask back up and then you start selling in the real ocean, open ocean. The waves are huge when you're not used to it and you never said it in your life before, it's pretty impressive, especially on the 30 foot sailboat. Yeah, I really wanted to try this out. So I did like five days, took seven because I got cut in a storm. So I got 50 knots of wind. The waves were pretty much the length of my boat, 30 foot. It was a little bit intense. <laughs> 
I couldn't believe was the how clear the water is. I'm not used to that. I'm used to lakes and river. I was so scared to hit the ground. Like it was unbelievable how clear it was. It was like 10 feet and I thought it was like two feet. So I was looking at the GPS. I was running to the bow. Sharks was the second thing that I wasn't prepared because I thought if I see a shark in the water, it's gonna kill me. So um, every time I was going in the water, I was thinking, okay, if I go in the water, I accept the fact that I might die from a shark. So it was hard to enjoy. <laughs> and even everyone was telling me that sharks are not human killer. I would not believe it. No way. A shark killed humans, that's for sure. And uh, no, actually not at all. This is basically where everything begins with the sharks. Um, I got the hook. I went all the time with sharks to learn everything. I call people to know more about it. and all kind of research on my way while I was doing like humanitarian project in the Bahamas there's a photographer found me and asked me to start modeling for Willy Minam Miami so I ended up doing modeling all around the world and this basically um, put my passion on another level because I wanted to like put underwater model with like sharks and everything to promote the awareness basically ocean conservation not long after this, I met my best friend now, Andre Musgrove. He's a really, really nice person and a really talented photographer. We both start kind of at the same time and the same passion, which was like amazing to keep growing and keep doing what we love to do. I need a bigger boat. From there, I left, I saw my boat, I went to Australia. Then someone contacted me because they were looking for captains for OWL. On OWL, we've been traveling all Europe, Sardinia, Corsica, Italy, France, all around. It was really, really nice. Then I finally found a perfect boat that I was looking for and I bought it while I was away. I knew this boat from a friend, so I knew what I was, you know, what was the boat and I was so excited about it and finally I'm heading to it for the first time. I will be in this boat while it's mine. You will meet my boat basically at the same time. I just got to the marina. Ah, oh, geez, it's, I'm so excited and so tired at the same time. Look at my eyes. I'm like a zombie right now. It's ridiculous. Anyways, um, yeah, finally. The boat been by itself for like two, three months. So it will need a big cleanup. My dad just arrived there with, uh, with his friend. So they already, I hope, start cleaning the boat and stuff. So uh, let's see how it goes. You know what, I have a better idea than that. I will introduce you my Boom Shakalaka from closer a little bit later on because there's two artists that were on the flight earlier with me they are coming on board so i want you to be part of it of course and uh, if you enjoyed this video please make a thumbs up subscribe and follow me on instagram as well all right see you on the next episode guys